Do you want to know how I make my DDLC animations, from how I plan my videos, create new assets and finally edit them, I'll show you my full process. Enjoy! To start off with, I don't think I need to state the obvious. Although I've used animation in the title of my videos, this isn't traditional animation by any stretch of the word. I just thought it would most likely be a bit harder to sell if it was called Monica's Bizarre Adventure DDLC Sprite Moving Edit Video What? So how do I make loads of sprites move in unison in my videos? Simple answer which I'll elaborate on in a moment. Keyframes. Let's say you want to make this sprite of Sayori move from one side of the screen to the other. Then you drag her to where you want her to begin, you save the keyframe position, move a few seconds forward and then drag Sayori to the other side of the screen. Then you get this result. And this simple feature is what allows me to create any type of movement. Granted, that doesn't always make it easy. A single image can have multiple if not dozen of different keyframes, changing position, rotation, scale or any other type of effect like basic 3D, color correction, you name it. So now that you know that, you can basically make an entire Quirxis video. What? No way! Except maybe that's a bit ambitious. Keyframe editing is in its most basic form quite basic, but it can get quite complex. Let's take Natsuki's cooking show as an example. If you have no clue what you're looking at right now, run. Or, explained very simply, each individual box stands for one image or video. Like this scene, which includes a background, character, item, text box, and then text on top of that. My video making process goes through these specific steps. Planning, music, video and photo editing, and then publishing. All of these take different amount of times, but video and photo editing usually takes the longest. Starting with planning, you might ask how I come up with my ideas. I've been asked this quite a few times and the answer is quite simple. I steal, I simply do. I know that's not a satisfying answer, but honestly, I have no special technique or way of thinking of ideas. They kind of just appear. Often as shower thoughts. La 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 la. Wait a second. I like Minecraft and DDLC. Oh my god. I just got an idea no one could possibly have thought about. Hey, what are you doing in my house? In all seriousness, I also try to note down my video ideas in a Trello document when I think of something good. I have some really good ideas in there, like, damn. Then comes the part of writing a script. Now, I've written a script a few times, but honestly, most of the time, I don't even do this. Ideas come as you edit, and honestly, this is the more fun way to edit videos either way. And it's also why many of my videos make absolutely no sense, so, you know, you're welcome. <laughs> now comes the fun part. Did I just say fun part? I meant please help me. Video editing! And I wanna begin this by talking about... Music. Why do I mention this as my first point? Well, whether you've noticed or not, I use music in my videos. What? That's unheard of! But r really though, if you want to understand why I edit my DDLC animations the way I do, then you gotta understand my use of music. Unlike a lot of TV series or other, I don't have voice actors. Which surprisingly makes it a lot harder to make jokes and animations that really fit the dialogue. In order to make everything flow, I cut and do specific actions in sync to the music I use for that scene. This is by no means an uncommon technique in video editing, however, what this essentially accomplishes in my videos is that the pace of the video is dictated by the music I choose. Once I've found a song I think will fit my desired scene, if there's any dialogue, then I'll begin with that. A lot of my rough sketches is nothing but music and dialogue of characters talking, but with no visuals other than that. An example of this was when I planned the scene of Natsuki making pancakes in my previous video. And it looked something like this. For reference, this is what the finished product ended up looking like. I also threw in photo editing into the same general timeline, and this is due to how much photo editing I actually end up doing for all my videos. This is the folder for Natsuki's cooking show. This is Monica's bizarre adventure. And I think you get the idea. Many of these assets I of course didn't make myself, but many of them I either edited or made completely from scratch. And you know what? I'm really happy with this background I made. I know it's simple in a way, but I went and remade the slanted kitchen corner from this image and made it straight on. Without making this asset, making a coherent scene with Natsuki cooking would have made way less sense. Last up is publishing. This is where I make the thumbnail, title, description and tags, however, there's one step here which I know most YouTubers don't do. Reddit. Or more specifically posting your finished YouTube video to different subreddits, and also making some fun GIFs from the video itself which can be shared around. 
This is also why I have 104,000 karma. <laughs> In other words, I'm a Redditor! And that's all of the basics of how I make my videos. If you still have any questions surrounding my YouTube channel, I'll answer all comments below.